boxing has so much to do with balance, being able to balance your weight, shift your weight from your left to your right, and being able to throw a strong punch in all of the angles that are you are, that you're in. I feel like my shoulders become stronger. Uh, I might I feel like there might maybe more velocity on my wall, being that it's the same motion as throwing a right hand. All your hips and the body movement of throwing the right hand is similar to the power of, that you need to throw the pass. I've been boxing since, I think this is like my second year now, and it started all with my Uncle Mike. He grew up with H.E., who was who's a, the boxing coach, and they grew up together, and my Uncle Mike told me that I should go come work out over here, do some boxing, you know, get in shape, you know, learn how to throw a punch, and, you know, um, build up my strength in my shoulders. Mo is a great athlete, so he's natural. Um, Right off the bat, from the very first session, um, I knew that he'd be easy to work with, and um, everything came easy for him. Every time I taught him something new, he caught on real fast. So you know, I wish all my athletes were like that. When I come into boxing, I usually I usually join coaches' boxing team. We warm up stretch out. Then we'll shadow box for two rounds. You know, in their mind, they're thinking about they're actually competing with somebody. So, you know, they're playing creativity while they're shadow boxing. You know, throwing uh, offensive punches as well as thinking about what's coming back at them. We hit the speed bag for two rounds. We'll do work on the heavyweight bag. We'll also hit mitts. Also, have some sparring, light sparring sessions. Boxing has so much to do with balance, being able to balance your weight, shift your weight from your left to your right, and being able to throw a strong punch in all of the angles that are you are, that you're in, and I think. When I first started, there was no way I could last a full workout. I, you know, coach would push me to go another round, but I'd have to wait one or, or kind of catch my breath. So I think it also helped out in my conditioning area. I feel like my shoulders become stronger. Uh, I might, I feel like there might maybe more velocity on my ball, being that um, it's the same motion as throwing a right hand. So all your hips and the body movement of throwing the right hand is similar to you know, the power that, of, that you need to throw the pass. I also think it helps with footwork, maybe sometimes in the pocket, being able to get away and things like that. Uh, but it kind of translates in a lot of ways. I think boxing helps in a lot of different sports, but one of the main things is this, yeah? For any athlete that is like really uh, focused on one sport, when, when they do other sports, it's like cross training. It uh, takes uh, uh, takes the focus out of their one sport where they've been doing it 100% of the time. They go dabble in like a sport like boxing 
for a couple of months and then when they come back to their main sport of football, they're fresh and ready to go again. But at the same time, while they're doing boxing, right, we're still working on muscle endurance, we're still working on strength, speed, and balance. So it relates to the sport of football. I just enjoy myself, you know, being fo play, playing football year round. It's kind of hard to enjoy the other things in life, and because you're, it's it's like a 24-hour job almost. That doing this is like a cross training for me, so I get to relax, I get to enjoy myself, I get to do something different. Now that he's been boxing for now his second year. Uh, he doesn't tire out as fast and his recovery is faster so we can go hard and rest for about a minute and then he's ready to go hard again you know so that's i think the biggest improvement with uh, mo well, guys like uh mike tyson and mayweather and pacquiao you know i watch like their documentaries and stuff and the way they train and you know mike tyson and they used to i remember him saying he used to run at three in the morning because he knew his opponent wasn't running and I kind of take that into my own um, into my own training and my own thinking where I'll lift late at night like at 11 or 12 on a Friday night when everybody else is going out and I'll go work out because you know the, your opponent ain't working out so I kind of like to follow those guys just because their mental toughness is second to none. He is humble and he's a hard worker and he has the right attitude. He understands that um, the position that he uh, is in as a quarterback in the University of Hawaii football team, he's also a role model. And so he's always aware of you know, himself and, and his standing in the community. So that's why you know, he's, he's a good guy all around.